Hi there, it's Ruffy Jenkins from Ruffy Softwares and I'm here to show you how to make a full featured Decide app. Alright, okay, we'll go and make a new Xcode project. We'll name it, um, we'll go make a single view and we'll call it I d Decide. Whoops. Alright, make sure it's iPhone. You don't have to use storyboards. I'm, I'm not going to use storyboard. So, next. Alright, okay. So here it is. Um, so we're just going. We're going to make um, one label to show the result. So we go. IP outlet. You are label. I'm going to call it result. I'm going to make six actions, so IB action, and we'll name this one, one, two, two, ten. I'm going to make another one, heads or tails, and I'm just paste that. Um, do dice, dice. We'll do a um, people one for people one two five. Um, then we'll do colors, and then we'll do drinks. Copy and paste then and just go and place it in here. Just replace all the semicolons with um, curly brackets. Alright, okay. Um, we'll start with the interface. Symbol drag in. I'm just gonna drag in a button. Just make it a nice copy. And then I'll put in a label. Make sure it's in the center. Center it and then we'll put just a uh, delete. Um, let's see what size. Fifty. And then we'll go add uh, files in a drag in result here. Can be um, heads or tails. Just uh, duplicate them. So uh, one, two, three. I'm um, name this um, people person one two five drink. Um, well, it's a bit, I forgot. Color. Um. And that's one which is it tells how yeah. now got that. Dice, I think. Yeah. 
dice roll. Right, so we go in. And what we're going to use is the um, we're going to create an int an integer, and um, we're going to use a random method and a switch method. So we'll go ahead and make an int. So this can be uh, we'll call it number, and this is equal to a rand, and then we'll do percentage five pound. Oh. So this is saying pick a number between um, zero, no, one and zero and ten. All right, and then we go switch. Um, switch statement. That's it. Switch statement and number. In there. Case zero. It always starts at zero, and then we'll put. Result dot text is equal to one. I'll just copy and paste this two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change all these one, two. I'm just change all these as well. There you go. And what basically this method is doing, um, it's saying pick a number between zero and uh, one and ten, and then then wh whatever number it chooses, it will do the corresponding thing. So, for example, if it chooses one, it will make the label say two. So we'll go and just link it up to show you what I mean. So one to ten. So, um, person's one to ten, eight, ten, four, nine, one, three. Um, so I'll just stop that. And we'll go back into our M and we'll just copy and paste this. Hang on, we'll just copy and okay, we'll just go and make this different So int dice equals grand percentage two. Um because there's only two sides on there. Uh sorry. I don't know how am I saying? Isn't it dice sides? Tails. Switch uh, statement. Head to tails. So comes the one and result dot text is equal to one so we'll copy this five times one two three four five three four five six two What are we even on about? Forgot all that. Um, sorry, 
I've actually gone crazy. Um, I don't want to keep two. Yeah. Sorry, I'm messing you around. Break. Heads. Tails. Tails. That is zero, not one. And that is two, one, two. So that should work. Uh, people. So I'll catch up to you once I've uh, finished all this. One second. Hi there, um, I'm back in and I've uh, finished off um, just doing um, just doing all the finishing off the statements. So I'm um, going to show you off them. So uh, I left you at heads and tails. So here, uh, dice, one, two, three, people, one. Basically it's the same thing, but uh, you just change the thing. Uh, the string, sorry. Let's go into the XIB. And we'll make some connections. Dice. Drinks, heads or tails, just people, people. Alright, okay, so when we'll this, it should work. Okay, so for our interface, so heads or tails. This has a low probability. A uh, person drink color and one to ten and dice roll. And that's about it for um, this tutorial. Um, yes. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe um, to my channel for more um, Xcode tutorials and updates about my apps. Alright, thanks for watching, bye.